Hello, my darlings. Welcome to your autumn reading, Taurus. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this for you. We're using my Wildwood Tarot. Uh, and after that, we are going to be using the Animal Tarot to have a little, little peek ahead at 2023 and what Spirit wishes for you to know at this time. Uh, if the reading resonates, you've been guided at exactly the right time for you to uh, listen to the messages for you. And if it does resonate and you would like to have a personal reading to go deeper, do please click on the link below in the description box. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe yet. And if you would like to join, I do have some lovely perks as a, as a member of the Veritas family. So the cards are flying for you already. So let's see what wishes to come out. Well, we've got the two of cups here. Uh, this is the card of soulmates. This is the card. Otters are such a wonderful um, natural expression of soulmates. Um, otters have a very, um, did you know that sea otters, uh, in order not to drift apart, hold hands while they're sleeping. So that message is for those of you that may be feeling a little bit uh, disillusioned, perhaps within um, trying too hard at the moment within a relationship that you are in. Now, um, otters remind us that self-love is very important, that understanding that all relationships are a reflection of where we are currently within our energetic realm, our energetic space, and that all relationships are given to us by the divine in order for us to truly discover who we are. There is an inter uh, connectedness, connectedness between two people. There is a duality, there is an interdependence, uh, because how can we know ourselves unless it's in relation to somebody or something else? So this is representative of a very deep connection, a very deep um, partnership that you have, one that is seen, one that is heard. But if you have forgotten for a moment that relationships are not just about what we may perceive as an identity, personality, the everyday love um, and companionship, it goes a lot deeper than that at a soul level. Um, I feel like you have uh, both of you overcome obstacles that you have had. Um, and I feel that you are very much in your emotions about this relationship at this time, but there is a sense for you about being seen, about kindness that's been shown, about that playful spirit, about uh, doing things that are creating a flow in your relationship at this time. So that's really, really lovely. The two of cups, the otter. I haven't seen that for a while. And I'm getting the word catkins because I'm seeing catkins. So I don't know if that means anything for anybody, um, but you are being seen. Um, and that's really, really lovely. So that's your two of cups. So let's see what else wishes to come out for you, Taurus. Let's have a little peek and see. Thank you, spirit. Six of cups. Well, there we are. So now you've got another soulmate card that's come out. Um, so do you remember I talked about... Um, in this card that there is a reason for this relationship that goes beyond what we would consider to be our normal reality well the six of cups is a confirmation of that and spirit is asking you to dig deep at this time still waters run deep okay these waters are still here there's a lot of um energy and motion between you uh that is perhaps uh not being looked at at this time and uh, remember that when we um are relating in a relationship with somebody it doesn't matter if it's somebody temporarily or somebody long term or even just a conversation there is a transference of energy there is a a mutually agreed subconscious connection of energy so have a look at that energy that is between you at this time because it's always moving darling it's always changing it's you see how quickly these fish go past with this is it a cormorant so spirit is asking you to dive deep at this time to truly understand uh, what this connection is about what is it teaching you about yourself what is it asking you to release and let go and with your 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 partner your other half what do you, why do you feel as a soul you've come into their life? Remove the identity, remove the personality, go deep. Look at the feeling behind the feeling behind the feeling. If there is a soul gift, which there is in this, what is the soul gift? Even if it's asked you to go uh, outside of effectively your comfort zone, like the bird that flies in the air going into the water to get these little fish that are moving by very fast. So 
let go and go with the flow with this and see what comes up sit in that space and see what comes up but the six of cups is a wonderful card alongside the two of cups here let's see what else comes out for you thank you spirit for taurus seven of fire wands and seven of water so seven of cups and seven of wands the roses here my darling represent love deep passionate love but roses have thorns too and so there are um, times when roses can hurt us um, when we get too close. So this seven of fire, this seven of wands is about you choosing now what you're going to react to and what you're going to respond to within this relationship. It's about detaching from it like the male lion does, detach from the pride and relaxes and receives and might just get involved in a little bit of ticking off with the cubs but doesn't really pay attention or heed to anything that disturbs his peace so spirit is asking you that your strength comes from not um needing to feel that you have to say something about everything you can remain silent you can observe strength comes from knowing so much and saying or doing so little and sometimes silence is the best way of you resolving within yourself what it is you're truly feeling not the reactionary emotions but the actual response when you give yourself time to have a pause and so um have what I'm getting here is have courage of your convictions, have courage of your convictions, trust that there is a resolution here. You've got the seven of cups here as well, and that, you know, everything is going to be OK. And, and ego fights ego. And when we are angry and when we are resentful and when we are um, attacking two people nobody listens to the other one because it is just a defense it's like a repelling of magnets if you can imagine it like that but when we're in the aware state of being that actually there's something here for us to learn not for us to tell but us to learn and actually even in the speaking from the right place you will receive and they will too and it goes back to these otters it's the first thing i said in this reading is see otters hold hands when they're asleep when they're in the water and they're asleep for fear of drifting away you cannot have an argument or a heated discussion with somebody if you're holding hands so this is the big message of this reading it is to sit in that peaceful state hold hands and talk don't face to face have what you feel is a verbal discussion but actually it's ego kind of pushing against ego um so okay and then you have the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck and this is the watering hole here so it's a reminder that water is emotions okay water gives life to everything and that all sorts and different types of animals are coming towards this it's a gathering place so maybe create space maybe create space that you can gather with whatever this relationship is or if it is more than one within this space but make a place that you can sit and gather where it's peaceful maybe to go talk to a counselor or to sit with other family trusted members or or friends but create a space where it is none of these animals although that some of them are predatory and some of them are not none of them attack the others it is a scene a scene as a place of peace it's a place of nurturing so this is what you're being asked to do at this time and um and hold hands hold hands while you're talking at this time okay so now i'm going to move on with this what's just come out in mind thank you spirit to see uh what 2023 is um what spirit wants you to be aware of in 2023 and this is with you know taking this spiritual advice to heart at this time it's to my scarf there it's done a weird a weird thing and you know what i might just take it off um there we go so let's have a look at 2023 for you thank you spirit tell me more about this two of cups six of cups seven of fire and seven of water seven is a very powerful number the power of seven um think about seven things thank you spirit seven things that you can do to nurture this relationship at this time and perhaps ask your partner whoever this is to look at seven things that they can do the power of seven thank you spirit what else wishes to come out 
No, queen of <laughs> the queen of water, winter water, queen of winter. Uh, the beautiful leopard here. This is about the power of your words, how words have the power to heal, to nurture, to harm, to hurt. So think carefully about the words that you're using at this time um, and take a relaxed approach to, to your response at this time. The Queen of Winter, Queen of Swords, you know, she doesn't suffer fools gladly, um, but she's a, she's a she or he, whatever energy this is, um, wants to, um, wants to create an environment where she is able to listen to understand not just to reply so this is 2023 it's about you coming into a space of listening to understand not just to reply of being relaxed understanding uh what uh, how powerful your words are understanding what you're you're projecting out there you're very clever with your words and i feel this is a is a is a is a message for you that you're going to come into this space of being much more relaxed about things, not worrying about things so much, knowing that there are lovely opportunities out there. And, and also deciding like the Queen of Swords, and like this leopard is choosing to do, to create space for yourself when you want solitude and you want peace. Um, listen to sage wise advice but create space and and only engage in those discussions that you feel are worthwhile so this is 2023 wonderful wonderful card for you uh to um to come into to knowing this is where you're 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 expanding and growing towards and you know this is the rainforest here and so what this is saying to me as well, that there is a huge amount of abundance there for you, but you're you're knowing it's there, but you're you're not trying to do too much. You're, enough is plenty is the expression I'm getting. Enough is plenty. I don't know what that means for somebody, but that is what I received. And of course, you've now got the magician has come out for you. So next year, with this advice in mind, it's going to bring in some magical um, experiences into your life, things that really are quite beautiful and that you were maybe weren't quite expecting and it comes down to your belief and trust that this is going to happen because as you go through this shift and are now responding from an, from very much an awareness of of the depth of this relationship and that actually how they're uncomfortable sometimes things make us feel actually this relationship is there to be maybe our greatest teacher it allows for the acceptance the non-resistance, what you resist persists. And so with not resisting it anymore, it falls away, it dissolves, it disintegrates. And I feel that there's gonna be some magical experiences for you next year, something because you've believed in yourself, you've believed in this person, you've believed in this relationship. So that is really lovely. Let's see what else wishes to ooh, come out. Too many cards, please, Spirit, thank you. I'm going to ask for one um, card for the magician in a second, but what else wishes to come out? Yeah, because you've decided, I love this, look, you've decided to come away from this five of winter space, which is the tug of war that goes on between ego and ego. Nobody's, it's all about gaining, gaining ground and, and it, it doesn't, you don't feel good after those sort of arguments or discussions do you it's it's something that just doesn't leave you with a, a feeling of oh okay and it leaves you with a feeling of, i wish i'd done that or i should have done that and so because of the change because you're you know that you want to make a change with this now it's almost like your your spirit is saying with the six of wands and the six of spring here um you're taking a blended approach like this little um um dog here which is a, a dog that is a mixed breed so you're mixing up things you're looking at things in a different way you're taking a blend of different uh, approaches to this you're looking at this side of it and that side of it you have a much fuller understanding and because of that um this relationship is stronger six of one successful and you know mixed breed dogs tend to be a lot healthier than pure pedigree dogs because they have the kind of best of all and so I think that's what you're looking your next year you're going to see the best of it all the little bits whether it was something that might have been unappealing in one situation is now much more appealing now because you can see the blend of it all together um, and I think that's rather lovely uh, so let's now look at the 
for you. I want to look at the magician card. Thank you, Spirit. More on the magician, please. The Princess of Winter. One more, please. And the Ace of Wands. How wonderful. Oh, my goodness. So this relationship, my darling, uh, for many of you, this is also a, a um, can be a, a relationship regarding children as well. Um, and this is the beautiful white tiger, the very rare white tiger. So this is saying as well, it's very rare to see something as this. So this relationship is, Spirit is saying to you, it is something that is unique. Um, and it is something that is, is worth treasuring. And that um, when we are doing what we are doing, driven from a desire to love, to help, to encourage, to, to do all of those things for um, either our partner or our children, it's a nurturing, isn't it? Um, sometimes we can get caught up in what we feel should be happening, but actually we're not allowing the space for them to do what they're intending to do. So sometimes it's, and I've done this, you know, when I wanted to, with my children, to, to do something for them. And then I actually get firmly told by them, no, actually let us do this ourselves. So there is just catch yourself sometimes if you're doing something from a place of being love, or if you're doing something from a place of fear, and that that actually is not allowing them to experience what they're meant to be experiencing. Because sometimes we can get away in the way of what's meant to happen for those that we love the most. And you know, the tiger here talks about they are incredibly protective of their cubs, like all animals, incredibly protective. But there comes a day when they start pushing them away because in the slight pushing them away, they are encouraging them to be more and more and more independent. And the Ace of Spring, the Ace of Wands is a new cycle of new opportunities for you and whoever this person is. Um, and this thing with the, with the white tiger, um, it's beautiful to see, it's beautiful to look at. You obviously have a beautiful relationship with whoever this person is. It is nurturing, it is protective. Um, there will be fights, there will be squabbles. Uh, you may feel somebody's being a child at times. Um, but remember, everybody is expressing themselves when, when, for the most part, from, from a childlike behavior. You know, you suddenly think that you get to the age of 18 and you're an adult, but how can you be an adult when you were a child the day before? And how can you then suddenly, as an adult, behave the way that you're meant to behave if you still have which we all have childhood conditioned behaviors attached. So there's a lot of um, confusion as we grow up, isn't there? And there's a lot of um, pushing past boundaries. And, you know, we're told to have that we must be consistent and we need to do this and we need to do that and we need to fit in. And so how can anybody really, we don't really know who we are. Everybody has a different perspective on us all the time. We have a different relationship with absolutely everybody. And it might surprise us how different people view us in terms of how we might view ourselves. So it's, it's just a reminder for you that, that there are going to be opportunities where you're going to be able to do what you wish and desire to do, but they're also within this space of being the queen of winter. Uh, being intensely observant, sitting and watching everything from your higher self, um, choosing when to speak and when to remain silent, choosing your battles wisely, understanding this is all unfolding the way it's meant to. And, you know, with the princess of winter in, in the middle of this, this is like, um, it's your, this is the seagull. So there's, there's going to be some situation where you're going to be called upon to come and help to come and do something and you will do it beautifully and so this is something where you're going to your strengths are going to come to the fore your courage is going to come to the fore your communication is going to come to the fore it's going to be a magical opportunity for you and for them and i want you in that moment of it happening spirit is saying is remind yourself of this message and know that this is for you to um 
to step into a place of empowerment, which is which is wonderful because it's aligned up here with the Ace of Spring, the which is the Ace of Wands. So there we are, my darling. I'm going to pull one more card for you. I feel I'm just going to pull the Spirit song for you. Thank you for Taurus. Tell me more about Princess of Winter. Tower, yeah, a revelation and a release. There is something wonderful, an old way of doing things, an old way, of, an old belief system is going to disappear. And it's something that's going to help lift things from your eyes and see things in a different way. And here is the chameleon, the master of adaptation. You're going to adapt to this. You're going to grow from this. You're going to transform from this. And you're going to, um, it's like a rebirth moment for you but it's something to do with you being the princess of winter you being the knight of swords you delivering a message that is to assist that is to help and it's about you suddenly seeing that you've been resisting something doing it one way and now because of the situation you're you're almost being pushed by the universe to make a sort of u-turn and make a changed approach and it's going to be wonderful for you darling and there you are the page of crystals which is the page of pentacles it's a it's it there is a a solution you are the solution to whatever this is that's going to arise this challenge that's going to arise um uh, an ace of feathers the ace of swords i've seen as well on the bottom of the deck and you've got that six of wands there about being successful as well so um absolutely wonderful and you've come away from the ten of feathers the ten of swords about all this sort of a certain way of doing it a way that you feel that you haven't been able to do you haven't been able to turn this way or that way you haven't been sure about what to say and what to do into a wonderful different approach of the six of swords transition and light and the dragonfly the moving forward uh having released all of that negative thought and and confusion from your mind so um what a transformation next year is going to be for this relationship but it all starts as you know in the present moment it all starts in the present moment so just think about the otters and the holding hands and start to listen both of you to understand not just to reply all right my darlings i trust that has helped those that this reading has resonated with look forward to doing another one for you soon in the meantime enjoy my dear daily readings so much love bye bye